Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm gonna do a Where Are They Now on the female bodybuilder, Jacqueline Nebre. Jacqueline was one of the most popular female bodybuilders of the 1970s. She had the perfect hourglass figure, she had six pack abs, her body was amazing. And she was the wife of the bodybuilder, Serge Nebre. And female bodybuilding during the 1970s is completely different than the way it is now. The female bodybuilders of the 70s were more feminine. They were more about aesthetics than muscle mass. If you look at the female bodybuilders nowadays, they're built like linebackers. They have these big massive muscles. They're built like men. In the 70s female bodybuilders, they were more feminine. You look at Rachel Malish, for example. She was the first Miss Olympia in 1980, and she was very feminine. She had muscles, but she was feminine, similar to Jacqueline Nebre. Corinna Everson was the first female bodybuilder to start competing with big muscles, and she won six Miss Olympias during the 1980s. But in the 70s, it was all about aesthetics. It was all about fitness it wasn't about how big your muscles was it was about how beautiful you were and Jacqueline was one of the most beautiful women of the 70s she was born and raised in Paris France she spoke French and so did her husband she won Mrs. Europe three times throughout the 1970s and in 1977 she won Mrs. World her and her husband won Mr. and Mrs. World in the same competition on the same day. They were like the Kent and Barbie. They were like the black version of Kent and Barbie. They both looked flawless. They both had a strict diet and they both worked out six hours a day. Serge was good friends with Arnold Schwarzenegger during his bodybuilding career. He was a bodybuilder for over 40 years. He was still competing well into his 60s. Throughout his career, he won Mr. Universe seven times but he never won Mr. Olympia. He always placed second behind Arnold Schwarzenegger throughout the 1960s and the 70s. Even though I thought he had a better physique than Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold may have had bigger muscles, but Serge had a better physique. He had better aesthetics, but he always placed second behind Arnold. But unfortunately, Serge passed away in 2011. He was 71 years old at the time. And I think he should go down in history as one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, even though he never won Mr. Olympia. And Jacqueline is still alive and well. Today, she's 72 years old. And as you can see, she looks lovely. She gave up bodybuilding after the 70s. And today, she's a real estate agent. And she's I'm just glad to see that she's still alive and well. I think she paved the way for a lot of female bodybuilders. And I think her physique is what female bodybuilders should look like. They shouldn't be these mass musters like they are today. I think female bodybuilders should be more feminine the way Jacqueline was built. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.